Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Semi Live. We're actually waiting for Dan and Jake from HHA. The plan is, is we are headed to Colorado tonight and uh, we're headed for the TAC event out there. So what the, what the point of this whole trip is gonna be is we're gonna put the new HHA Rise to the test. It's a new site they're coming out with. It's an awesome site. We've been testing it here and there, but now we want to really put it to the test and uh, hit some some bombs out at the TAC event. So um, I know Dan's super excited. Jake's ready to rock and roll. Brennan's going to be coming along to film, and we're just going to go out there for a couple days, have fun, put the rise to the test, and see what happens. Just got out here to Carbondale, Colorado. We got um, total archery challenge up at Sunlight Mountain tomorrow. So got in, gonna throw on some steaks on the grill, have some potatoes, some asparagus, um, and probably go jump in the hot tub. So living the good life, and uh, hopefully we can actually hit some foam tomorrow. But really excited to get out on the course and uh, get a good meal in our bellies and then get a good night's sleep tonight. So. Yeah, hey. What you got there? Little Coors Banquets. You head west, you get Coors. <laughs> who's is who's? Doesn't matter. They all look good to me. They all gonna taste good. As long as we don't fall off the chairlift. Oh yeah, so Jake's we gotta <laughs> fill you in on this. So Jake's scared of heights. So you gotta take a chairlift up to the top, unless you're a little girl, then they drive you up there. So he's not driving tomorrow, he's riding the ski lift up. And so we'll definitely make sure we're gonna film that because we gotta see his reaction. You are not riding the truck. No, he's not riding I'm gonna the close truck. my eyes and pray. No. Yep. I'm gonna be sitting in the chair behind you trying to swing that No, sucker. no, dude, I, I'll never, I'll never forgive you. I'll never forgive you. What did you, what did, what did you do? I overdid the steaks. They're probably medium. Are you shitting me? <laughs> they are, they're definitely medium. Jake could not find tin foil for a half hour. <laughs> it's funny because I looked at that drawer, same First drawer Dan color. opens, there's a whole thing of tin foil. <laughs> Messes up the steaks, can't find tin foil. Wait, JP. It all starts now. Day one, TAC event out here in Colorado. We're pretty, uh, pretty excited to get to the course, see what everything looks like. Of course, Jake was nice enough to put us on the hardest course they got right away this morning, 7.30 a.m. So, well, we're feeling good. It's gonna be a good day, it's supposed to be perfect weather, mid 80s. Dano's ready to roll. Yeah, Jake's ready to roll. Yes, sir. Brandon says he's not ready to lose any arrows, but I think he's gonna be the best one out of all of us on the score charts today. So, see what happens. Just gonna go up there, have fun, let her rip. Any words of wisdom, Jake? I'm just bracing myself for the cheer lift. <laughs> <laughs> the poor little fella had nightmares on that cheer lift. I'm ready for it. Mentally prepared all night. Sit 
69 yards, first bomb of the day, nice and cold. Let's see if I can't hit it. Shoot that far deer. Yeah, you see it? I see it. I'm the red knock and that far deer. You tell me if I hit foam. <laughs> 73 bear. Smoked him. <laughs> Boys are ready, huh? <laughs> See you boys at the top, don't die, Jake. Yeah. Good time. That was a flawless. Flawless. Ready? I don't know, are you? <laughs> yep. Am I able to keep the backpack on my back? I would recommend having it in the front, but right. it's comfortable back there. It's fine. Yep. Well, we got in a chairlift. Not a big chairlift guy, but finally we're good. We're uh Looks like we got to take this one up halfway up the mountain and then uh, another one to go the rest of the way. But I think we started at like 7,700 feet. We're going to go up to about 97, 9,800 feet. So we're pretty excited. We got to shoot the toughest course to start. We booked kind of late. So that was the first one. So we'll see how, we'll see how the boys do. But we're pretty excited to get up on the mountain and start shooting. So we'll see how today goes, but hopefully we'll get a, a course or two in today. Cool. You guys are out of here. You guys have a good Mater. How was that, Jake? Huh? How was it? No, after we got past the shooting range, you think I calmed down enough. After the swaying stopped. I was gonna say it was smooth after that. Yep, I made it to the to the halfway point up the hill. And Jake's a little nervous, but he made her. Now he's gotta get on another one that's Looks a little more sketchy than the first one. At least he had a, a bar going around him on the first one. This one don't have that, but and we got to go a lot farther and higher. So he's currently in the porta potty, taking a leak. I think he's a little nervous, but it's a beautiful day. It's gonna be a good day, fun day. So we just got to get up this bad boy and we'll be starting to shoot. In your element? Heck yeah. I love this. First shot with her eyes. Great shot. Yeah, it looked good. As long as I told it. Yeah, it looked good. Job ring. And next to me, nice shot. Pressure, JP. Oh, yeah. High and left, Boom. right? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Oh, she's a bear way down there. Bear.
First bomb of the day. Yo, goat down there. Down there by the target. Yeah. JP's lost two arrows and four targets. But no, yeah, you're yeah, right. Four targets. <laughs> this place is amazing though. People here are super friendly. I mean, where else can you go and get incredible views like this? And fling arrows. What do you say? If I had an eight or a higher on this 96 yarder, I'd get a beer. <laughs> I'm Jake. Yep. I feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> wow. Boy, that was wow. some shit. Wow. Not about myself, but I don't blame you. So I forgot to use my JP other. hits one at 96 and you miss. <laughs> I forgot to use my other pin. I'm not pin. letting you live that one down. There you got it. Money. That's beer. That's a beer. Brennan decided he wanted to join in on the fun. I'm stepping in. We're ripping a shot. We got a... I got demoted, which is fine. I don't need to shoot anymore today. They said it's a polar bear, but it's only about this big at 62. Shooting JP's bow. We'll see. I didn't bring my eye patch, so I'm gonna have to cover my eye with my hat. <laughs> we got a little bit of a handicap, but don't use that second pin. We're gonna let her eat. As long as I don't hit that tree to the left, it should be all right. Perfect. Cold shot. I got the vinyls on it. They far enough? Yeah, they said they were clean. Dead center of the tree. <laughs> I felt good on it too. <laughs> that anchor felt kind of weird without a kisser, but down another arrow, bud. <laughs> All right, I'll send one. That looked pretty Boom. good. Boom. JP had the closest shot. Hey guys, we're on uh, target 13 here. We've, uh, we've had a lot of bombs. These rise sites are performing flawlessly. You know, sometimes we can't quite use top pin, so we can use that middle pin and, and bomb them out there in the mid 90s, all the way into the hundreds. Great group of guys to be shooting bow with. We're flinging arrows. We're losing some arrows. We're getting some 12s. It's, this is uh, this is quite the experience. If you guys have never shot one of these, these are they're a lot of fun. You'll be fine. I'm just left of the. You got foam. Yeah, Well, we kind of ran into a hold up here, so we're taking a little break. Our Airbnb host, Judy, was kind enough to make us a loaf of banana bread. So we're gonna tear into it. 
I stole a piece this morning for breakfast. It was pretty damn good. One for you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. JP. Thank you. Pressure, Dan. Nice shot. Taking another shot here. Second shot of the day. Tried JP's bow. Broken arrow. Now I'm gonna try Jake's. Hopefully you don't break the bow. I was gonna shoot one of JP's arrows, but Jake hasn't lost one yet, so I'm gonna shoot one of his. What'd you say for a distance? 53. You can try my bow on one of the last birds. He don't trust you. 53. Now you can't complain about the Bomar grip tape. Yep, got that back. Shooting a different brand bow though, I don't, I don't know. That's what he thinks about this shot coming up. You're definitely pulling more. Spine them. One of my arrows makes it. Yep. Hit the target. 48. 48 from right there. I was 48. 48 8 here. Looks slightly challenging. Uphill. Starting to get exhausted too. You are? Yeah. That deer. Wisconsin boy ain't used to climbing around in these mountains? No. Heart shot deer there. Yep. We're on target 22. So we've got 22, 23, 24, 25. Four targets left. This is gonna be my third shot of the day. Third different bow of the day. Now I'm shooting Dan's bow. We got a moose at, what'd you say, 88? 88. 88 yards. Hoping that I stable all these treetops. Um, it's a pretty wide open shot. Just gotta worry about the getting up in the limbs if you arc it, so we'll see. I hit the, missed a target with JP's bow. Shot a five with Jake's bow. See what I do with Dan's. Ain't <laughs> gonna hit the tree limbs, huh? I'm Only here one. to tell you, you better get on your knees. That was nice. What's going on here, Dan? I gotta make this count to to beat Jake. I got a one point lead. This is the last target, but there is a lot of crap in the way. Hit a branch. <laughs> what do you got? It looks like a five or an eight. Oh, it might be an oh. eight. I oh boy. I definitely hit a branch. You're saying you left the door wide open, huh? Yeah. I think you got an eight. Oh, so you need a 10. No pressure. I'm worried about this freaking stick right here. Wouldn't be good to zero it. There's a lot of crap in the way. He's scared. He's scared. I'm just verifying my sight path here. Icing the kicker. Yep. Dan, you're in good standings. Icing himself. He's scared. Nothing worse than being scared. 
Oh, he zeroed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> there is a, You're not going to be able to sleep tonight now. After all this crap, you got to show them what we're trying to shoot a target through. You got the shot, don't you? I can, but it almost looks It'll look better this way. Yeah, there's a target back there. See, I'm a, I'm a few yards further back, so there's an actual lane right here. You guys got more shit than land there. Oh, you think you're shooting another one, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna turn I'll the shoot camera off. I, I just made that rule up too. <laughs> a long drive home when your last target's a big old fat zero. I'll win the truck, so. Two arrows <laughs> <gone>. <laughs> Light a knock, too. Oh, nothing worse than going home. Two zeros. We are at the long shot. Dan and Jake are going to try their luck. I don't know how many arrows they're going to buy, but I think Dan's going to spend a good hundred bucks on it. Got a caribou right around 111, 112 yards. We've seen a few guys make some really good shots here, but they get a, if they get it in a 12 ring, they get their name in a bucket to win a brand new truck. So pretty sweet if they could get a shot at the truck. I got the, I got the Jacksons out. Where do you spend them down? I'm gonna try and shoot for a truck. See what happens. How much you got? Hundred bucks. How about you, hot shot? I'm watching. What? I only got twenty bucks. That's worth any shot. I didn't grab cash. I wasn't smart. You don't have an ATM? No. Not that I can How see. you doing, sir? Good. You up? I'd like to shoot for it. Nice. Well, how far is the caribou? Can I range it? Oh, you can range it. Okay. The only rules on the caribou: no lines. It's got to be clean. Okay. And no, no magnification on your bow. Okay. And behind the cones. Okay. Perfect. Can I see it? Money. Yeah. Yeah. 112 yards. Low left. Hi. Oh man. See, I didn't need to walk, but <laughs> it could have been. on the dang line. It could have been the other way. Nice shooting. Thank you, sir. For the truck, you can't touch the line whatsoever. Is what it is. 112 yards, 12 to twice but they don't count because they're touching the line. I needed them to be a quarter inch one way. Buy more? No. Come on. It's pure luck. I can't shoot those six, ah, those, the first two I was trying to adjust for the wind. So the first two were off, then once I got her dialed, I shot four arrows, I couldn't have shot them any better. It's just pure luck if I had squeezed them in there or not. Yeah. That's a wrap for me. I gotta still shoot at that rhino thing though. I got three <laughs> arrows at the rhino. That'll work. Ooh, <laughs> money. Back right it's there, Dano. He has nice spots to aim at now and I'll miss. Yes. Oh! Toasted that one. These two are good though. Right in the middle. Well, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this. We, uh, these shoots are a great time. Me, Jake, JP, and Brennan, we're out here just having a ball. Only mm -hmm. lost one arrow today on the old iron buck. Some of these shots are super challenging, but uh, it's nice to challenge yourself sometimes. 
like I said, a ton of fun. There's good food, good people around here. Highly recommend coming to check in one of these out. Colorado's beautiful, so it doesn't get any better than this.